Hi guys, Susanna Easdale here. Okay, I am <clears throat> halfway between doing custom orders, but in the meantime, I've got to think of ideas for next year. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a um, a sore throat to sort of sound a bit like a drag queen. <laughs> and now, um, so what I've got come up with, I was um, saying in previous videos that I want to do a um, do some art collages and do an art journal. So what I want to do is do a create with me tutorial. I've got a bit of a, a list of what I want to do and I've finally got the names of the people that um, inspired me. On YouTube it is Sagita from Sagita Coffee Stains. I uh, got inspiration from her collage pages and on Pinterest it's constant Constance Rose Designs, and that's one word, um, dot blogspot.com.au. But if you go onto um, Pinterest and just put in constant Constance Rose Designs, you would be able to get some of the idea of what I want, like the paper collages and all that kind of stuff. But what I want to do, the inspiration for the, um, the pages comes from Zakita. I want to make a... Um, a year-long seasonal um, journal and I thought if we make that now then we can start um, next year in January for me it will be summer um, and um, for you guys it'll be winter well the second month of winter anyway so that I want to start I want to have a cover page so that's why I've got these um, so I'll just use um, the winter so I'll have a cover page for the um, the season and then there's three months in each season and so I'll have one page which I'm going to show you how we're going to be making the pages here um, per month and then every month we um, I'll do up a um, a page of maybe towards the end of the month so incorporate things that you enjoyed throughout the month or pictures that inspired you and you can do a a journaling collage page for that month so at the end of the year you'll have well 12 collage pages and 12 13 14 15 16 16 pages all up and then the front the cover as well so you'll have a full journal and I want to set up my uh, Facebook page to so that you can put your um, finished projects for that month on the Facebook page and show everyone what, you, what you've done. So it's something like a create tutorial with me of um, doing um, art journal collages because I really, I just love cutting up bits and pieces of paper and doing art and so I'll just do my page but you can do it in in the way that you want to because our seasons are different um for the Aussie guys that they'll they can probably create along with me but um I'll do the cover each cover pages um maybe one each week um and get it all ready and then have it ready for next year so um that doesn't matter you can create along with me whichever one you want um what else have i got on there so i've got yes yeah, so three extra pages one for each month autumn winter spring so you just need vintage book pages tea coffee dyed papers lace buttons fabrics um you know vintage page cutouts where are we like this i've um just started with edith holden where i just cut out and do all that kind of stuff um, hang on a minute, I think I can hear my husband. Okay, back again. He was just saying goodbye because he's going to work. So anyway, um, yeah, I've cut out bits and pieces. So the Edith Holden is actually pretty good because she it is a diary of different months, um, you know, so you can, you can even probably um, grab your Edith Holden ones and use that for... Um, the different days like each of the three pages can be september october november you know so which i may do um because it's just the, the writing's just gorgeous yeah anyway so what i would like to do today is actually um start with showing you how to do oh 
Oh, how big was it back in there? Um, some pages. So um, I've got, I noticed the Constance Rose design. She uses a lot of these gorgeous little fairies and I just love them. I think they're so cute. But um, what I'm going to be doing, we're actually going to be make, you make individual pages. Um, I've got some coffee dyed um, pages that I've done that I don't particularly like how they've turned out. So um, they just went splotchy. So what we're going to do, you can even that this makes it that you can do journaling on the back and you do your collage on the front. So it's a journal as well. Now, what I've got is, I'll just grab, grab your coffee stain pages and then you've usually got, I don't know about you, but mine are always lighter on one side. And then I've got, get a book that's about a similar size to the coffee stained. Um, so, just want to get a few um, walls of snow. Perfect for winter page. Perfect. So there we go. I can use this for the winter one. So what I'll do is I'll just... Oh, I might actually pull this apart. Gee, they're pretty old. Um, I'll make a couple. Since we've got two of them out, I'll make two at a time. Yeah, so find yourself an old book. I just got this from a thrift shop or you can go to a vintage shop. But if you need, need a book page that's a decent size, same size as your um, as your coffee dyed papers. Actually, I don't know if I want to. I like the might just tear give it a bit of a okay I don't want to tear too much off Today I'll just make a um, just plain pages, but then I'm going to get the um, this happens to be the winter one, so I might use this as the winter cover page. Since it's got walls of snow. Not that we see a great deal of snow where we are. In Ballarat is actually a bit colder than most places, so if we do get to see a little bit of snow, but it doesn't last very long. Oh, listen to my voice. Sounds terrible. The old paper is so fragile, but I love it. It's um, fragile, but it's nice and thick. And it soaks up paint and everything really well. So I'm going to be, you can use inks or whatever you want, but I, I'll probably use a bit of watercolour or just normal paints. Um, okay, I'll just get this. That's quite nice too. Um, stick that on there like this. Now, am I wanting to ink the edges? I'll see. I might. I might. I'll probably ink the edges because I love that vintage look. You don't have to use... Um, this colour you can use, you know, if you want more of a, maybe on the 
this one probably would be nice to do a bit of blue because the winter colours are a bit lighter. But this is how we start. We will progress as we go along. You know, it may not stay this colour. It might end up being, you know, a different colour. But I particularly like the vintage look. So all the seasons are going to have the vintage look regardless of what colours they are. automatically look vintage with this beautiful paper it's quite old I think it's a 1950s 60s book probably more likely to be 50s hopefully I'm loud enough in speaking I mean, it's just a bit hard to talk loud okay now get my I might actually put it on this side so we get a little bit of that because the other side's still okay. Okay, now. Okay, so I'm just a little bit worried that it might be oh, a tad thin. By the time we put it all together, it should be okay. Oh, it's the only thing when you do a bit of gluing the other side. Bubbly. I'm using the um, bright blue. When you're doing collage too, um, if you get out gesso, it's a, a primer. Um, I may end up doing that on here too. You put a bit of gesso on there, which takes the um, any paints or anything like that that you might want to put on there so that is um, maybe the cover page and then this will be I quite like that one so I'll do that one as well this is the the boring section of the tutorial the fun part will be to put all the, the elements and everything on, cutting out the pictures. And it's something that we can go back to every month, which is really good. And at the end of the year, you'll have yourself a completed journal, which would be great. And something to remind you of that year. So if I do this, it makes me accountable to do it because I had all plans, grandiose plans to do a journaling thing for the year this year. And I think I got about January and February, that's it. <laughs> um, and so if I do this with you guys, I'm accountable and I have to get it done, don't I? So, which is good. Okay. Now. Glue that on there. If you don't want any pictures, um, you can use something like that, just the, the writing, and have that as the base. But I will incorporate any pictures in with the collaging. So. to see what's being done and what hasn't go on the way over. Ugh. 
brings out the smell of the old pages. Oh, that's not pretty. Oh. All the years of probably smoke and whatnot that's gone into these pages. Back in the day when it was every man and his dog smoked. Okay. Oh, it smells. Okay. Put that on here like that. Down. So what I will do off camera is do three more, I mean I'll two more of these and because I'm an artist I might even incorporate um, every month I'm going to do a, do a watercolour page so that'll be a little bit different. You can do what you like. Get your little finger and probably the best way. Get that glue. Because this is the side you'll be journaling on. So we don't want it to be too bumpy. Sometimes just the finger is the best way. Okay. Then, so this will be the lid on that. Now, what I want to do. Is I want to go on the sewing machine and just sort of do stitching around just to give it a bit of um, you know sort of like I might do on the inside as well as the outside and so this will be the cover and that'll end up like that I may put I'm just a bit worried that it's a bit thin so but what we're going to be using is I might get some calico or some really nice um, fabric like this and I'll join the pages together with um, fabric. So, but that's something that I could probably maybe even do at the end of the year we'll be putting it all together. So we'll just have individual pages. Um... And then from a an old cereal box, they're quite a good size, I'll make an actual cover. So that'll be another um, tutorial as well. So with th something like this, where are we going? So this is winter. Grab my little winter one. Have a look what we can put in there. But not only this, I'll just sort of pick a, a main one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Love that. something um, it's even that song of the winter jasmine fairy snowdrop I don't know I think I think that one would probably go really well because it got walls of snow that would probably be a nice one to cut out and then go into my Edith Holden um, book and um, do that as well so this is just a quick, um, small uh, tutor like tutorial on the plans of what I am wanting to do. You see, that's really lovely as well. Um, I may even end up doing. Uh, I'll do a, gen a December page, so it's going to go from December. Because uh, that's when, some, like, the season starts. Where's the, uh, let me look at the one that's on the front cover. I love that one. Should be in there somewhere. So I'll, 
I'll probably put that one on the on the cover for the season and then use another one and some other stuff. But my next video will probably be the December page and then I'll sort of doing it in a bit of a, a wonky order. I probably should have done the cover first, but I'm just wanting to give you the concept of what I would like to do and how you can do it along with me and go and have a look at those. Um, where are they? Um, yes, yeah, Zagita. S-I-G-I-T-A in Zagita Coffee Stain. Some of you are probably already subscribed to her. And she's got a lot of collage pages. And in Pinterest, Constant Rose Design. So just go and have a look at some of their work of, you know, collages that you can do. Um, and this is a way that we can, not only are we making a journal, but we're actually filling it as well um, in a in an arty, collage -y way. Okay, guys, well, thank you for watching. Um, the next video will be me, um, even though it's summer here, <laughs> um, doing the cover of the winter page. Um, I might do the summer one and probably the following week. And I'll also do one where I'm, we're making the actual cover itself of the actual um, journal and have that will be a separate one as well. So um, I hope you can do this with me that would be really great and um next year i'll have a um my facebook page which i'm not sure whether you can pin photos on there but i'm i'll get my son to have a look at it so that i can make it like a proper facebook page that you can you know post stuff on so okay guys thank you very much for watching and i will hopefully um catch you later and you can do this along with me i'm actually quite excited to be able to create something with you guys okay bye catch you later